Hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I earned my college degree in nine months flat, an entire bachelor's degree in nine months, which if you follow my channel, you know that. But what I want to talk about specifically is how hard was it? How much time does it take? Is it realistic for a normal person like you or me to be able to do this in under a year, sometimes even less than six months? If that sounds good to you, then let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so earning a college degree in months instead of years. What's it actually like? How much time, energy, and commitment does it take? The first thing I want to say is... It's really important. I know that sometimes people see my channel and they think, oh my goodness, like college degrees, this is a smooth, easy peasy route to get a college degree. I want to clarify, yes, this route is easier and faster than anything I have ever seen in my life, but it still does require hard work to test out of college classes. You have to study, you have to get information in your brain, and then you go take the exams, which guess what? Doing that is not fun. It is hard work, but there are tons of strategies that I teach that make it so much easier. So if you're comparing it to spending four to eight years in a classroom and doing homework and textbooks and quizzes and study guides and lesson plans and like all the stuff that we hate about college, this process is seriously like a million times easier, but it's not sitting on the couch, eating popcorn, watching a movie. Okay. Like it is hard work. Okay. As for time, I personally would plan out. I, I tried to finish one class per week, which is a bachelor's degree in about 40 weeks. Cause a bachelor's degree is 40 classes. Okay. One class per week was my goal. I normally set aside 15 to 20 hours per week to put towards school in comparison Let's say you took a four credit class, the traditional route, a four credit class means that you're in a college classroom for at least four hours a week with an additional eight hours a week on top of that for homework. Okay. But you're doing this for like four or five months straight every single week for one, for one class. Okay. So essentially like I was able to test out of classes in about the same amount of time is literally one normal college class, one week's worth of that normal college class. I hope that makes sense. So time commitment wise, you're, it's not like you're spending way more time than a normal student. You're not, you're actually spending less like per week. Um, you're just doing this a lot faster. Okay. So 15 to 20 hours a week was normal for me. Now I will say I made some big sacrifices in order to get my college degree this fast. Okay. One of the big sacrifices I made was my social life. Okay. I had a wife and kids. I had a full-time job and I was a student. So I did not see my friends as much as I was used to seeing them. Okay. Like sacrifices have to happen. I didn't watch quite as much television or movies. I didn't play video games all the time. Like I, there, there was a time and I guess, activity commitment or sacrifice that came with wanting to get my college degree. Now, don't get me wrong. I still saw my friends. I still had leisure time. I just had less of it than I was used to. Okay. So I will fully admit by the time nine months had finished and I finished my degree, I was really tired. I was, there was pain involved with getting this degree this fast. Okay. Any type of college degree is going to take work. Now I heard someone say this past week, something that I really loved. It's actually one of my students that is working towards getting their college degree faster. And what he said to me is that he likes to teach his children to pick their pain, pick your pain, choose your pain, choose your hard. Like life is going to be hard either way. Which pain is worse? Is the pain of sacrificing some of your social and leisure time and 
some of your energy and, and effort and like commitment with your brain to study for a short amount of time, what's harder, like doing that or being broke and working in a job that you don't want to be in for your entire life, right? There's pain both ways, right? There's suffering both ways. But in my personal opinion, get like sacrificing and having a tough few months, like working really, really hard for a few months to qualify for like the dream career, an easier job, a higher paying job for the rest of your career. That is far, far less pain, far less suffering than working a job that I don't want to be in, making less money than I want to be making, living paycheck to paycheck, worrying about what happens if my car breaks down, what happens if one of my kids gets hurt and I have medical bills or, or car expenses. Like that is, that pain is far, far worse to me. And that's something that I hope that I never have to experience again the rest of my life. In all honesty, I don't right now because I qualify for better jobs and I make more money than I used to. I went from making $12 an hour working a dead end job with no hope of progression. And I mean, progression, yes, like boom, like a management position in a dead end job, like you make a little bit more money, but it's not life changing, right? Boom, got my college degree. And all of a sudden I qualify for much, much better jobs that pay a lot more money. And guess what? I'm not rich. I'm not sitting here like a zillionaire or anything like that, but I have so much more freedom than I used to have. I hope that makes sense. So pick your pain. What hurts more sacrificing and working hard for a short period of time or living a life of not making enough money, living paycheck to paycheck and working a job that you don't want to. To me, it's an obvious choice. Now I know it's hard. I know it's really, really hard to be in this situation where you don't have a lot of time, you don't have a lot of money, but you know you still need to get the college degree, that's painful, right? It's painful to try to be doing both at the same time, but it is so worth it in the end and you'll be so glad that you did because the second you qualify for the dream job, on average, a college grad, someone with a bachelor's degree is going to double their income compared to before having the bachelor's degree and unemployment rates across the board with college degrees literally like get cut in half. Okay. So for example, like if the national unemployment rates, 8%, the unemployment rate for someone with a college degree is like three or 4%. So it's huge, more job stability, more money, jobs with more freedom where you can go on vacations and take time off and not be a slave to work, which is just not a fun thing, right? So I hope this gives you an idea. Like my, the purpose I wanted to make this video was to kind of, kind of explain that I talk about hacking college. I talk about accelerating the degree and getting it really fast. I want to be totally upfront. It's still hard work. It takes dedication and commitment, but that pain is like a drop in the bucket compared to the pain of not having the college degree. So I hope this video has helped. If you're inspired and want to get a college degree, feel free to watch. I'll leave a link down below in the description. I'm going to leave a link to a free training. I call it my degree hacking tutorial, where I walk through the three step process that allowed me to literally get a college degree in nine months for like $200 out of pocket. So I'll leave that link down below in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos, of me teaching all sorts of cool hacks that will allow you to graduate faster and save a whole bunch of money on tuition. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.